Expedition 25, The Soft Tropics. Expedition 25, The Soft Tropics. Focus question, how and why are the northern and southern subtropic zones similar? Expedition 25. On Expedition 25, you will explore the world at 25 degrees north and south latitude. On the map above, each of these latitude lines circle Earth around 1,725 miles north or south on the equator. Even though these latitudes are far apart, the climate as both of them is similar because they are the same bit distance from the equator. What do you think the climate in these areas are like? Hint, bring plenty of water, you're going to need it. Beyond the tropics. Traveling at 25th degrees and, and <clears throat> north and 25 degrees south latitude will just outside the tropical zone or tropics, which is the religion of Earth that is closest to the equator. The boundaries on the tropical zone are the traffic of sensor in 23.5 degrees north that latitude and the tropic of capricorn at 23.5 degrees south latitude the religions will be traveling to lie in the latitude just beyond the traffic's in the subtropical zone recipe of making deserts like the hot rainy tropical zone near the equator the soft tropics receive very little rain. That's because high pressure in the atmosphere keeps hot, dry air stuck in place over the soft trip, soft tropics. Uh, that same high pressure also keeps rainfall in the subtropics to a minimum, less than 10 inches per hour in many places. The result of these climate patterns is predictable and bands of deserts the circle Earth at this latitude. Hope in the plane and let go visit some of them. Desert in the North For hours, you'll be flying over northern Africa at 25 degrees north latitude. You are over the world's largest desert, the Sahara. The world Sahara means desert in Arabic, the language spoken in much of northern Africa. As the Sahara is the big as the entire United States, as you look at the desert from high above, you see dunes, huge mountains of sand that look like golden ocean waves, but there are few signs of people. Cairo, Egypt, city on the Nile. You land at uh, Cairo, Egypt, located at three, <clears throat> 300 degrees north latitude. Uh, when you step off the plane, the first thing you notice are grift on in your mouth and the sting of dust in your nose. A sand from the Sahara swirls through the air and covers everything. The big capital city is home to several million people. The Nile River flows, flows through the center of Sierra. It is Egypt's main resource of water. The Nile made it possible for one of the world's greatest ancient civilizations to thrive here. You can still see the gigantic, gigantic monuments on the edge of Sierra, the pyramids of Giza, which are more than 4,000 years old. A Riyadi, a Saudi Arabia, capital in the desert. Next stop is Riyadi, a Sa Saudi Arabia, at 24 degrees north latitude. Like Sierra, it is hot and dry, but unlike Egypt, Saudi Arabia was no rivers. Much of the water that people use here comes from underground wells or is pumped from the sea. The people of Rayada use a desalination to remove salt from the seawater to provide fresh water for drinking and for watering crops. As in De Egypt, most people in Saudi Arabia speak Arabic and practice the religion of Islam. Desert in the south, uh, Ellers Rock, Australia. Crossing over into the southern uh, hemisphere, you land at 23 degrees south latitude in Ellers Springs, the heart of uh, Australia's desert lands. Uh, Aboriginal people 
Australia's first residents settled here ten of thousands of years ago. You take a jeep across the flat red desert floor uh, to Alers Rock called Illaru by the Angaro, uh, Anangu people. Uh, they consider it a scared place. Artwork on nearby rock walls illustrates their long history. Other illustrations living here are of European descent and speak mainly English. Many of their ancestors came to Alice Spring in the early 1900s to mine rubies and gold. Africa and South America After flying direct west over the Indian Ocean, you can come to Namibia in Africa. The Nam Namib Desert covers much of this country. The desert is home to desert elephants which roam great distance in search of seasonal water holes. A continuing west at 25 degrees south latitude, you arrive at the Atacama Desert in Saiko, a child in Chile. Some places in Atacama, it hasn't rained for over 10 years. Scientists have found 9,000 years old mummies of native people in the Atacama that have been perfectly preserved in the dry desert air. Deserts next to oceans? One thing that may seem strange is that both the Naimib and the Atacama deserts lie next to the oceans. Normally, the water of ocean would provide the moisture to create rainfall in the lands next to them. However, in both of these religions, cold currents in the ocean prevent the, the coastal water from uh, evaporating and forming rain clouds. Conclusion during Expedition 25th, you discovered that most of the world's deserts are located between 10 and 30 degrees latitude. You learned about some of the climate factors and keep these areas dry both in the northern, in the northern and southern hemispheres. You also visited some of the cities at these latitudes. I hope you enjoy our travels to the desert lands of the subtropics.